Imagine sleeping with a thousand women. This is like distributing yourself and your life in a thousand places. I mean, tell me how that person wants it normal again. Nobody sabipass anybody for this life. We learn every day. If you tell a woman you like her and she says no, she no one day relationship with you, my brother, move on. If you be saying no, be your own. Alpha male no get time to the cho 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 cho. No. An alpha male always wins with women and even with everything in life. But oftentimes when we talk about an alpha male, the first image that comes to mind is that of aggression, control, and even dominance. <laughs> you know, that macho guy, we say get plenty more. But is that what an alpha male should be? Well, in this video, let's talk about the qualities of a real alpha male, drawing inspiration from the life of Christ. He was so alpha male that he is called the Alpha and the Omega, right? <laughs> let's jump right in. Number one, a real alpha male is not afraid or ashamed to show emotions. You know this notion of ah you be a man and a man you be not supposed to cry men don't cry a real alpha male is not afraid to show his emotions i mean look at the life of jesus for example when he was called upon and told that lazarus his friend was dead the bible records it that jesus wept like he cried even though he knew that he had and still has the ability to raise him from the dead but he wept he cried all right, this is to show that he is so in tune with his emotions that he wasn't afraid or ashamed to show it. Bros cried. <laughs> and after then, what happened? He did his miracle and Lazarus was brought back to life. It is not wrong for you to show emotion. You know why? Because when you bottle up all of these feelings inside of you, you don't show emotion. You don't, you're just trying to be the strong man. Am I you being? Am I you being? Eventually, when you're going to have like an outburst, it's always going to be disastrous. That is when you see someone going from like zero to hundred within seconds. It is always not because of what has happened at that time. It is always as a result of accumulated anger, accumulated frustration that was never expressed. All right. So Jesus showed emotions. I mean, if Jesus could show emotions, what in the form? Eh, you go bury out your papa, by, you know, if you cry, you're forming strong man, strong man, gathering all these emotions in your heart because you, someone somewhere told you that, yeah, you're the guy, you're the alpha male, you're not supposed to cry. No. In the same vein, a real alpha male has like a high sense of emotional intelligence. He knows when to show emotions and when not to show emotions. Even in relationships, when you're having maybe a quarrel with your woman or something, a real alpha male knows when to walk away. He knows when to just stay away from the situation for a while and just let everything cool off before reacting. This means that you have absolute control over how you show emotions, where to show emotions, and when just to hold back and, you know, observe things from afar. This doesn't mean you have to cry in every situation, but, you know, when you're emotionally intelligent, you just know when to react, when not to react, you know, all of that. Because why? You are in tune with your emotions. You know yourself. Number two, a real alpha male is not ashamed or afraid to put his woman first. I mean, your wife. You know, there is this popular notion that ah, woman, if you give her a chance, it will control you. No, for for her more women, where they see a real alpha male does not see any need to put down his wife, maybe emotionally, just suppress her in every way. There are men who they feel that they are alpha males and they feel that their wife cannot thrive because if she thrives, she won't be able to respect him or you know, all of those things. Seriously, I don't know where people get these things from, but a real alpha male allows his wife, his woman, to flourish. She's like a flower. When you give her space, she, she blooms and, you know, she, she becomes more beautiful. Not the type that, you know, put down your wife with the words of your mouth by your action. You hear things like, you can't go out of this house. You can't go to that job. No explanation, nothing. Always trying to be in control. You know, when someone tries so much to be in control, it's a sign of weakness. <laughs> because it's almost as if that person is so scared of something that, you know, if he doesn't show that control, that whatever it is he's trying to hide is going to come out and he'll be so embarrassed. So it's a sign of weakness. A real alpha male is not afraid to let his woman shine. Sometimes people quote this verse of the Bible that says women are supposed to be submissive to their husbands, but they don't quote it to the very end. If you read that passage of the Bible to the very end, what it connotes is that the man should be ready to lay down his life for his wife to give your life for your wife like literally so people just quote wife submit to your husband and they end it there just like this other Bible, verse of the bible that says children be um obey your parents so that you can live long and they leave out the part that says parents do not provoke your children 
<laughs> you know that kind of thing now. Nobody wants color bullets. All of us want to, you know, want to quote the part of the Bible that suits us and suits our need at the time. So, but the real alpha male does not try to suppress his wife. He's always trying to groom her and make her become the better version of herself. If you marry your wife and after 10 years, 15 years, she's not better than what she used to be, then I think that is like a failure on your part. She should be better, courtesy of you. Honestly, she should be better because you're going to give her room to flourish, room to grow. Because you're not afraid for her to shine. Because you're not afraid that when she shines, you know, the shimmer is going to blind your eyes or whatever. <laughs> Number three, a real alpha male is loyal, humble, and open-minded. He's ever ready to learn. He's exposed to learning. He's not the type that feels that this is final. My decision is final. This is what I feel and this is how it has to be done. The person who feels like, Nami Sabi everything, nobody Sabi past me. So when I say this is it, my decision is final. My decision is final. A real alpha male is loyal, humble and open to learning. He's loyal to his wife and open to learning. It's not the type that feels that, yeah, I have to dominate. Who is my wife? Who is she to tell me what to do? You know how they say, behind every successful man is a woman right even though it's not always the case like in some cases you look at it and you're like no not be true bless it, this thing no apply for this case you know but most of the time it's true a real man like is loyal to one woman his wife and that is why he's able to build and in the end of his journey in life he would look back and see that he has achieved so much greatness because a man who is not open to learning who is not teachable he's just like blindly following his own whatever he's just doing his own thing all of this is like a recipe for disaster i mean you don't learn you're not open to learning even your wife cannot advise you and you will listen because it feels that this is a woman now why would you listen to a woman i beg woman no get sense you know things like that or another scenario where a guy who is not married yet they form real alpha male you know see him camping 10 girls or, or so many ladies sleeping around having like three different women in one day like boasting of having slept with over a thousand women all in the name of say and a real alpha male a big guy nobody they cross me now me be the man you know all of these things is not what makes you a real alpha male because imagine sleeping with a thousand women this is like distributing yourself and your life in a thousand places i mean tell me how that person wants it normal again you're always with different people different energy different frequencies like i don't even understand how some people are able to cope like that this is no judgment anyways but we're talking about the qualities of a real alpha male and this is definitely not one of it you cannot distribute all of your energies into different places like that do not benefit you so to speak and expect that you're going to be on top and you're going to be very sane to make very logic decisions it's not possible nobody savvy pass anybody for this life we learn every day a real alpha male is open to learning humble enough to ask for help knowing that i know if you do this thing on my own i need help it shows that you're human you're whole you do not have insecurities and you're complete in yourself such that you can take help from other people and still be you and not feel belittled or feel like you've been reduced into something else that is a real alpha male number four a real alpha male builds not a type that destroys people with his mouth you know nowadays you find men engaging in gossip before when we were growing up now women they gossip <laughs> but now you see some guys engaging in gossip you'll be like what what's happening you tell a girl you like her and the girl says no you're not my type i don't like you and then the next thing you go about area talking about this girl they tell people say this one this one i just be one help her life this this one you even find yourself you never even get back you never even get from you know pettiness pettiness is not the quality of a real alpha male Alpha male no get time to the church or church or church or church. No. If you tell a woman you like her and she says no, she no one day relationship with you, my brother, move on. If you be saying no, be your own. And that takes me to the last point, number five. A real alpha male is not afraid to serve. You know, oftentimes you see situation where a man is married, your wife is doing all of the chores, you cannot even help because you feel that in your village, you're a chief. I'll be chief, I'll be title man for my village. You want me to go wash plate? What do you mean? You know who I'll be? I get red cap. You know, things like that. Small Cherry Kogo, where you married yesterday, a beautiful girl. Now nah, she done the old for your face. Why? Because housework, too much. 
She'll do the grocery shopping. She'll do all of the house chores. She'll take care of the kids. She'll carry pregnancy. She'll give birth. She'll breastfeed. And you'll be there. Even when you have the time and the opportunity to help her, you sit down and be forming title man. That is not the quality of a real alpha male. Jesus Christ also served his disciples to teach them that it is not a bad thing to serve others. Leadership is all about service. The Bible records it that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. I mean, that was a tax that was reserved for the lowest of the low amongst them. But Jesus, being an alpha male, being the alpha and omega, being the Messiah, wash the feet of his disciples not because there wasn't any other person that would do it but because he just needed to teach them that in being a leader you have to serve and there is nothing wrong with serving he does not reduce you in any way he was so humble jesus is a perfect example of an alpha male like look at when he queued up to be baptized by john the baptist he, he was in a queue and even john the baptist did not know that jesus was on that queue waiting on him to baptize him when it was his turn, when John the Baptist raised up his head and he's like, Ah, Baba, are you there here? Ah, I better go. I know fee, I know qualified to baptize you. And Jesus was like, Let it be so for now. Imagine he stayed there, he was humble enough, and John the Baptist baptized him. So if Jesus could do all of these things, who is that guy that is forming a, a, a macho man? I'll be alpha male. i get that thing, get friends. I'll be this one wearing body hug, walking all over the street. That is not what makes you an alpha male. If you want to be a real alpha male, look at the life of Jesus. This is the winning principle. It's going to help you win in every aspect of your life, including getting that better chick, you know, good woman. Don't allow your wife to slave away just because she married you, especially for those people who are in diaspora, who do not have access to this whole house help thing and everything. You allow your wife to do everything. Every time she's sweating, every time she's working, she's aging and you're seeing her, but you're forming title man. You cannot wash plates. If Jesus feel washing disciples' feet, why you no go feel wash plates? <laughs> Like seriously now, here let's talk about it. Jesus feel wash disciple. Do you know how dirty those feet were? In those days, it's not like their road was that road though. Maybe say now nah, more though. Serious potter potter. <laughs> Jesus used his hand, wash their legs. And I imagine say some of those legs they have done boss boss, but Jesus wash them. Then who you there at the front? You know, if you wash plate where you serve the follow chop, our bros, calm down. That is not what makes you a real alpha male. Just look at the life of Jesus and you get the clear picture. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. If you like this video, I am sure you like this one on the screen where I talked about five qualities that makes you irresistible to women. I'll see you there.